What the hell is going on? Where's our air support? Get those forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! Colonel Fury. Doom. I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UNN Alpha requests immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being a target. Wolverine, you do it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. to Staten Island.
was hoping to catch someone being a hero. Looks like I hit the jackpot! I'm working for the biggest group of villains this world has ever known. The Masters of Evil! <laughs> That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Dr. Doom. If you only knew. Cause Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens. You wanna get tough, punk? Good. Cause so do I. Got it. Thanks for responding to my SOS so quickly. The Helicarrier is under attack by a group of supervillains called the Masters of Evil. And to make matters worse, they're led by Victor Von Doom. My thoughts exactly. It's not important. I told you it's not important. Count of Fury, this is the Black Widow. The Masters of Evil have activated the launch cycle of our nuclear missiles. I need help if they are to be stopped. Help is on its way, Black Widow. Fury out. Team. Just one of those missiles could level an entire city. Failure is not an option. You have to get to the launch bay and stop it. Electra. Ms. Marvel. Nightcrawler. Deliver us from evil. Okay.
firing is to destroy the consoles that control them. Get out of the way. I need to use that computer. Ha! You think you're gonna stop that missile I launched? You can't use that computer without getting the access card away from me! I don't think that'll be much of a problem. <laughs> you're making me laugh, doll. Tell me before I waste you again. How'd you come back to life? It's a long story involving some very good friends, like Stick. Yeah. Ah, I knew old D.D. would be involved somehow. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna settle things with him once and for all. You better just concentrate on the here and now, Bullseye, because you're in for a rude awakening. Black Widow, do not engage the enemy. I want you out of there immediately. Team, 
Double time it and save that engine. That was my fault, I'm afraid. Fortunately, I was not harmed. Black Widow, I specifically ordered you not to engage the enemy. I... I am sorry, sir. It was unavoidable. Very well. At least you're safe. Team, you have to stop the enemy from destroying the engine. If they're successful, the helicarrier is finished. Storm. Spider Woman. It's game time. Thanks for setting us free. Being trapped in our own room was kind of an embarrassing situation. Good luck. Be careful.
Now you are trapped. We will teach you the true meaning of pain. You made a big mistake coming here. One you are never gonna have a chance to repeat. You're in for a world of surprise, my friend. The Masters of Evil have teamed its members up in combinations that even your combined powers can't handle. Yes. All the better to crush our enemies. Good. At least you've got guts. I hate fighting cowards. Yes. I too enjoy a good battle. Now, let the fight begin! Fields and let's clear out of here. It is lucky for you we must depart. I was just getting warm up. But we will meet again, I promise you. Anyone else care to get in my way? I told you they'd follow. They're as predictable as the sunrise. Come then, heroes. Follow us a bit further. <laughs> Here. Now you've had it. Yes. Let us see how you fare against this force. Attack! Sorry, my 
mein Freund. <lacht> You are too late. In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the Masters of Evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon ship while you still can. He has a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah, it does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that? No. Time to waste. The Masters of Evil have unleashed some huge creature that's attacking our primary engines. If it succeeds, we're all dead.
for me.
Hello, team. Welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on Earth. Huh. It's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We are now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration. It has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. Hawkeye. Ms. Marvel. Captain America. Iron Man. Avengers! Watch each other's back. Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the S.H.I.E.L.D. database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? The acronym stands for Strategic Hazard Intervention, Espionage and Logistics Directorate. Its primary responsibility is counterterrorism for the world. Operating under the jurisdiction of the United Nations, S.H.I.E.L.D. is expected to deal with any threat to the security of the world's population. That designation has been used several times over the years, but it is not associated with any particular group of villains. Dr. Doom has assembled dozens of the world's most notorious supervillains, not the least of which is Ultron, and Baron Mordo. Victor Von Doom was raised in the tiny European country of Latveria. The untimely death of his parents made Doom vengeful towards the world. A genius, he attended Empire State University. Unfortunately, Doom performed a dangerous experiment that resulted in an explosion. As a result, Doom was expelled. Bitter. He traveled the world until he met Tibetan monks who created his first suit of armor. Doom then returned to Latveria where he overthrew the government and proclaimed himself ruler. The Black Widow was a Russian spy who defected several years ago. Upon joining S.H.I.E.L.D. she rose quickly through the ranks until she became Colonel Fury's number one operative. There is nothing on her S.H.I.E.L.D. record to indicate otherwise. Why, do you ask? I am glad to be of assistance. Affirmative. Hi, my name's Hank Pym. Dr. Hank Pym. I've heard you're going to the Omega base. 
If you see my cybernetic helmet, could you bring it back to me? I was working on a new version of my cybernetic helmet. Uh, then Captain America called and said you guys could use somebody with a little technical know-how. Hey, I'm glad to be helping out. Besides, I was getting bored working in a lab all day. Mr. Stark, there's a Harold Hogan online too for you. Oh yeah, well that's where I was working on my cybernetic helmet. It's a real nice facility. I didn't see a whole lot because of security, but I do know there's a team working with gamma bombs, and I think a new study is being done on the super soldier drug. Come back anytime. We're always open. Colonel Fury, Red Rolfson is on line six. Good to see you. Welcome to the team. Miss Bambi and Miss Heather are still waiting for you in the main lobby, Mr. Yes. Stark. We're a S.H.I.E.L.D. task force created to investigate the Masters of Evil. It's our mandate to stop Doom and his army before they cause any serious damage. S.H.I.E.L.D. is an international organization. We belong to no one and to everyone. With the helicarrier seriously damaged, we had to find a different base of operations. Tony Stark offered the use of these facilities. Mr. Stark, there's a Harold Hogan online too. Exactly. Though well, I'm surprised to be here. You see, Stark Industries and S.H.I.E.L.D. recently had a falling out. Mr. Stark, there's Miss Bambi and Miss Heather Yes, the Stark recently too. stopped developing weapons for us. As you can imagine, we were less than enthusiastic. The S.H.I.E.L.D. tried applying pressure, both legal and not so legal. But I gotta hand it to Stark. He held his ground even though he's lost billions. Anytime. Hello, my name is Black Widow. I am second in command to Colonel Fury. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message. He requested Colonel Fury visit the Omega base immediately for an update on the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan said Dr. Banner would give the report. The odd thing being Dr. Banner is not on the Super Soldier project. Since we don't know the situation, you are to sneak aboard the base and locate Dugan. From there, we'll determine the best course of action. When you are ready to go, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He will take you in a Quinjet. The offer was initially made after a S.H.I.E.L.D. operation, where I switched identities with a countryman of mine, Yelena Balova. Yes, the blonde one. I declined the offer, but as we all know, Colonel Fury can be very persistent. It is a huge mobile S.H.I.E.L.D. research facility that is several stories tall. Yes. It is used to field test some of our most highly classified experiments. The nanotechnology team will be meeting in the Uptronics lab. My apologies. I should have given it to him as soon as we arrived. Please, take this to him. Red Rolfson is on line six. You are quite welcome. what you want.
Hi, the name's Wyatt Wingfoot. In case you didn't know, I'm your pilot while you're here at Stark Tower. We'll be taking the Quinjet when you're ready to leave on a mission. Sure. What do you need? Discreetly. As in, don't let Fury know? Yeah, I can do that. Give me a little bit. I think I know just the person to ask. There's a hacker I know. He's kind of an oddball, but I think he's up to the challenge. If you don't mind me asking, whose laptop is this? So, you think Natasha's up to something, eh? Maybe working for the other team. Stark needed a pilot, and he knows I've flown for the Fantastic Four. So I guess he figured I had the skills. I was roommates with Johnny Storm back in college. He introduced me to the group, and after a while, they started inviting me on missions. It's a high-tech jet developed by Stark's company. It's usually used by the Avengers. It's undetectable to radar, can take off and land itself. Heck, it'll even dial the phone for you. Plus, it's got the latest in jet engine technology. This thing will get you around the world in no time. Happy birthday, Mr. Grimm. Any time at all, friend. Thank you for the decryption module. Now I can patch directly into the SHIELD database. I am glad to be of assistance.